Well, hello and season's greetings from the light table. I'm just over here having a cup of joe. I'm actually taking photos of some of the items that I picked up today at the local dump. It's Tuesday, so I wanted to shoot over there and see what they had. I ended up leaving the house today at about 12.30, and when I got there, the lady that I've had problems with in the past was there, which is pretty unusual since she generally only works in the morning. I just went in and looked around, and I got a few things. I didn't say anything to anyone, and I just left, and it was actually a pretty peaceful time. And I found a couple nuggets. I also returned that stupid pandemic board game to the dump today. Uh, to the dump you go. I just don't have room for low value stuff right now and especially uh, bigger items. One thing I got today was this exercise thing called uh, SKLZ. It's the Zip and Hit Pro. I had to cut the line because this thing was so tangled up I couldn't get to it otherwise. I don't think this is a super popular item. I'm probably just going to end up selling this all as is or for parts. And maybe I can get 20 to 25 possibly. Probably with free shipping. Also, while I was over there today, I saw these really cool knives. And there's five different sizes. They're all Tupperware made in the USA. I went ahead and looked them up. And it looked like one of these similar knives sold for $26 recently. So I'm hoping I can do okay on these. I think this is probably going to be the find of the day over at the local dump. It was a bag of two little Garmin GPS's. Alright, so this bag actually contained two of these Garmin GPS's. Now, I don't know if they work. I haven't tested them. But they did come with some accessories. I looked up this accessory right here. And a pack of two recently sold for, I think, over $20. So I might be able to get 10 to 15 plus shipping on this. I think this mount might have a little bit of value. But I can't seem to find anything on eBay exactly like this there are some similar ones that are selling for like 12 to 15 dollars it looks like this edge 500 model is selling for between 30 and 80 dollars and somebody recently bought one of these 520s for 86 dollars plus shipping so almost 100 dollars for that one so these are definitely a good find i'm going to see if i can't get these things tested asap because i could definitely use the money I also went ahead and took a cover photo for that warring juicer. And these are all of the parts that I took off of that Ninja coffee machine. There's like six good parts on here. So I'm thinking these should do okay. But I'm going to go ahead and get to work because I still need to do this. But I'm going to go ahead and get to work because it's not even 9 o'clock yet. I need to get all this stuff photographed. And I've sold three or four items today. I need to get those all packed up as well. It's been pretty good sales-wise. I sold like seven items yesterday. So I've been pretty busy. Hey, what's happening, guys? I'm coming to you live from the sports section. And so far, we have been finding some good stuff. This is a really good one. This pump right here, this is like five bucks. It's like probably a hundred dollar pump. And some other goodies. We shall be showing more later. I'm still on the hunt. Wish me luck. Alright guys, so I just left the Salvation Army and we got quite a bit of stuff today. I still gotta head over to the More Than a Thrift, so let's go. Well, hello. Welcome back. I'm sitting over here relishing my new items at the light table. It ended up being a pretty good day over at the Salvation Army and it wasn't half bad at the More Than a Thrift. I did have to spend a few bucks though, but it was worth it in my opinion. I ended up getting to the Salvation Army this morning at exactly 9.59 a.m. And when I got there, there was what I presume was a husband and wife reselling couple. I actually see them there pretty regularly, but they've never been rude to me and I've never had a problem with them. I think we might sell different things. I'm not really 100% certain. There's probably a bunch of people out there that have no interest in selling the types of merchandise that I sell which is fine with me of course but I walked around for about an hour and it just ended up being a pretty good day I spent about $38 and bought 13 items I picked this item up it's a grater platter it's got Billy Mays on it so it's probably a little bit older it is a little bit heavy but I'm hoping it's not a pound it was about two dollars and maybe 13 cents and it looks like they sell for about $15 free shipping. It wasn't a great buy, but I think I can sell it. But if it's over a pound, I'll probably only make a couple bucks on it. 
I found this nice lacrosse helmet. It does look like it's in pretty rough shape. It looks like it's definitely been played with. It had $6 on it, so I ended up getting it for $5.10. I think it might do okay. I picked up this vintage light bright from 1990. It does have a bunch of those black backgrounds. I powered it up and the light does work. This isn't something that I generally sell, but it was $2.55. I really enjoy selling old things like this, and the price was right. I looked it up, and it looks like these sell for between $20 and $30 plus shipping, so I'm just going to photograph it and throw it up on eBay. I also found this golf cover over there. It's the King Cobra. This was $0.85, cents, and I think I saw one of these selling for about $15 plus shipping. So it looks like there's a little bit of room for profit on this guy. I also found another cover. This is looks like a driver cover. It's the Lady Cobra. Now I saw some available on eBay, but this is the only gold one that I saw. So I'm hoping this is a little bit more valuable. I might throw this up there for $14.95 plus shipping and just see what happens. I thought this was actually a pretty good find. It is a bag full of chess pieces. They're definitely vintage. They're made by a company called Renaissance. I looked them up on eBay and it looks like these are actually selling pretty well. I saw some selling for like 20 plus shipping. So there's definitely probably some profit here. I paid 85 cents for the bag. They had some new puzzles over at the Salvation Army today. One was actually selling for good money, but I couldn't find any in the US that sold, and they wanted five bucks for it, and I just didn't feel like taking the risk, but I did see this guy over at the Salvation Army today, and it's a really cool looking suitcase. They had two bucks on it, so I ended up paying $1.70 for it. It had this cover on it, but I really wanted to make sure that the puzzle was still new, but I wasn't able to get this cover off of that box because there are these metal corners, and I couldn't get the paper to slide up over them. So I ended up just pulling it apart, but I'm 99.9% .9 sure I can just re-glue it and be okay. I scanned the barcode on eBay, but I didn't see anything. It just looked too interesting not to dig a little bit deeper, so I did, and I found that one had sold back in October for $40 plus shipping, so I think this will definitely be a good score, but it'll probably take a little time. Right before I was getting ready to leave, the manager put out some nice items, so I was able to scoop up a few parting gifts. This is some type of toy called Bright Starts. It's some type of fish, and it is brand new. It's still sealed. I paid a buck seventy for it. The last one it sold was back in November, and it looked like it sold for around twenty-five dollars plus shipping. There was also not one, but two of these little, little like baby musical benches. They were two dollars and fifty-five cents a piece. And it looks like these are selling for about $15 plus shipping. I did open the box and, you know, all the little balls and everything are still sealed in the original foam. So I think these will probably do okay too. I'm going to get this new stuff listed tomorrow morning. This stuff is just so easy to list and, you know, it'll probably sell pretty quick too, being that, you know, Christmas is right around the corner. Aunts and uncles across this great country are looking for those last minute Christmas gifts for the nieces and nephews. At about a dollar and twelve cents, I decided that I would probably pull the trigger on this brand new kickstand. You know, it is a little bit heavier, but the price was really good, and I might be able to make a quick five dollars on this. I've never purchased this product. In fact, I've never even heard of them. It's a company called PackSafe. It just had an interesting look to it. It felt quality, and it just kind of looked cool. It's somehow designed to make it difficult for a would-be thief to run off with uh, your money. Anyway, I ended up paying $5.10 for it, and when I checked it out on eBay, it looked like they do okay. I mean, not terrible. I think I might be able to sell this for about $20 to $25 plus shipping, so we'll just have to throw it up there and give it a shot. I found this little guy right here. It was just sitting over there at the sports section at the Salvation Army. And I took a look at it. And I'm like, whoa, this is a cool looking pump. And, uh, you know, I looked it up on eBay. And it looked like one had sold for over $100. It sold from the UK. So this might be like a $150 pump. I'm going to have to test it out. 
I don't know much about it, but they had it up there for five bucks. So I ended up getting it for four twenty-five. I think this will probably end up being a pretty good find. But I would have to say the best find of the day over the Salvation Army was this Dukes of Hazard slot car set. When I was looking through the back window, I saw this thing sitting on the table. I was like, hey, let me get that Dukes of Hazard." And she was like, oh, you know, the cars aren't in it or anything. I was like, that's cool. I'll take, you know, the box or whatever, whatever's in there. And she's like, all right, just give me a minute and I'll go get it for you. But it's got, like, just really cool-looking graphics. And, I mean, this is, you know, a really, really cool. I've never even seen anything like this. Now, when I was, like, five or six years old, I was all about the Dukes of Hazard. I used to love them. I used to have all the toys and everything. I don't even know if this is going to make it on eBay or not. I ended up paying, she, there was a price tag on it, but I think it must have fallen off. She put eight bucks on it, so I ended up getting it for like six dollars and eighty cents. It's going to be a smashing deal. So after that cool little haul at the Salvation Army, I decided to take a gamble over at the More Than a Thrift Store. Now typically I don't find very much at the more than a thrift, but I went in there today and I found three items. The first item that I found over there today was this new old stock 1.3 megapixel webcam. It's made by Logitech. It was only one dollar and it's not a great camera, but I think I could probably still sell it for about fifteen dollars plus shipping. It's still sealed in the original packaging and somebody will eventually buy this. I was looking at a nice pair of vintage chef mate scoops and I didn't have the price tag on there and I was asking the guy how much he thought they might be and over at this thrift store if there's not a price tag attached they won't sell it to you so he told me you know I could bring it up there but she'll just put it aside I was like it's no big deal you know if I can't get them I can't get them but while he was talking he was also putting these on the shelf and I was like dang hey let me check these out so I took a close look, I'm like blue, orange, yellow, I mean this is a cool set, this is straight from the 70s, and it was only one dollar, uh, so I was like, assign me up. They're unbranded, probably made in Hong Kong, I don't think they'll sell for a ton of money, but I could probably get them up there for $10.95 plus shipping. They have this Canon ink and paper, it's for the Selfie CP printer, it's supposed to have three cartridges but it only has two I think I could probably get about 25 ship for this I ended up paying three bucks and what I'll do is I'll just put it in a flat rate envelope I thought it was overall a pretty good day I'm probably just gonna spend the day tomorrow listing items on eBay I really want to get caught up and a lot of these items are new so it's definitely important to get it up as quick as possible. Yesterday was a pretty busy sales day. I saw this big box full of miscellaneous toys and Lincoln Logs and all that crazy stuff. This thing was listed for over a year and a half and I thought it would just never sell. But somebody came in yesterday and paid $24.99 plus shipping. They ended up paying $32.38 shipping. And then I sold this little cuddle bug machine. I got this item pretty cheap over at Kevin's auction house tag sale. I ended up taking a best offer on this for $20 plus shipping. This is a pretty heavy item. I think it weighs about 10 or 11 pounds. But luckily the buyer only lives one state away. So the shipping on this was only $9.50. I sold this pair of Ronco gloves. This sold for $15.95 free shipping. I sold this pair of Rocco feet to a regular buyer. This guy's name is Don, and he's been buying my Rocco parts for probably about three or four years. I think he's probably bought 50 or 75 parts by now. He used to buy a whole lot more, but the Rocco business has kind of fallen to the wayside for him. He lives up in North Dakota, and I'm not really sure what he does. I think maybe he uh, repairs machines. I don't know. <laughs> But he's a really good customer and I like taking care of him. He also bought this replacement knob and I just went ahead and wrapped this up with the feet. That way I didn't have to pay two separate shipping charges. Also, I sold this vintage sandwich maker. I picked this up at the last garage sale that I went to for the year. It was that Sunday morning early sale and I ended up buying a bunch of stuff. 
I paid like 30 bucks and got a bunch of stuff. I ended up selling this item for $24.95, plus the buyer paid $10.35 shipping. I sold this Quasinart Pusher for $9.95 with free shipping. Somebody bought this little Corel Pyrex Sugar Bowl. This sold for $9.95 plus $5 shipping. I got that with all that Corel stuff in the dump for free. Somebody paid $9.95 plus $3.95 shipping for this little Disney Rabbit plush. This thing was only about 3 ounces, so it was fairly cheap to send. I sold this replacement Panasonic phone charger. It sold for $8 free shipping. I picked up this vintage Nordicware waffle maker. I got it at the Salvation Army for $2.55 and it sold for $25. The buyer paid $18.35 shipping. And the last thing that I sold was this vintage steering wheel cover. I got this last week at the free box outside of that consignment store. They ended up having just a bunch of stuff they were giving away. And it sold for $24.99 plus the buyer paid $5 shipping. So yesterday ended up being not too shabby of a day. Unfortunately, today has been somewhat of a slow day. I've only sold one item today. And that one item is this Quicken 2013 Starter Edition. This is just the disc and envelope only. This came in that box that had the Quicken 2014 and the three other discs. I listed all of that software the other night. Within the first few hours, that box sold for $69.95. And tonight Tonight, somebody bought the 2013 version for $29.99 plus $5 shipping. So two down, two to go. I think that was an exceptional $1 garage sale purchase. Anyway, guys, let me quit fooling around. I got to get this video uploaded. Let me know down in the comments what you guys think of my little haul today. Let me know what your favorite thing was. Thanks for watching. Give me a thumbs up if you can. If you're not subscribed, please do so. And we'll talk to you guys next time. Have a great night. Hey, how you doing? I'm coming to you live from behind the wheel. Parked, of course. I was going to end the video, but I decided to go hit the dump. But the dump Santa came last night and dropped off a few goodies for me. So I figured I'd go ahead and share the wealth of knowledge with you guys. I picked up this little Presto popper. It came with some extra little cups that are still sealed. Well, at least two of them are anyway. I'm not sure how much this will actually sell for, but I did see that one had sold for $25. Hey, sorry that I got a break into the video like this, but it looks like I forgot a couple of items and I didn't want those items to think that I didn't love them. So here I am showing them off. Right before I left, I found this vintage Conair. It's the CD150. I've sold these a ton of times in the past and I always buy them if I can get them really cheap. This one was basically free because I just gave a little couple dollar donation when I left. These used to sell all the time for like $15, $20 plus shipping. But right now during the holidays, nobody really cares about looking good because you're only going to see family, so nobody cares about looking good in front of family. I might just throw mine up for like $14.99 plus shipping and just wait till spring. Once like April comes around, people start buying this stuff for like beauty pageants. But I'll go ahead and get it cleaned up and throw it up on eBay. And also one of the ladies that told on me one time at the dump she actually came in a few minutes early and she i guess she thought i wanted this so she gave it to me it's like one of those little handheld video games almost like a cheap knockoff radica this one is called the pocket game player it's still brand new and sealed in the original packaging i saw one similar that had sold for about ten dollars plus shipping so maybe i can throw this up there for like 15 20 plus shipping and see what happens Anyway, a back to the video. I found three bags of these puzzles. I couldn't find any actual name on there, but they are cat puzzles. We got one and another one. I really have no idea how much I can sell those for, but what I plan on doing is just putting three in a lot. And maybe somebody that likes cats will just be like, hey, you know, that's three 1,000-piece puzzles. I'll give them 20 bucks plus shipping for it. Wish me luck, and we shall see. I found this vintage Don golf glove. It's made in Tokyo, Japan. It's made out of sheep hair, I think. 
And I don't know how much these sell for. I couldn't find any like it, but this might go for some money. I'm going to have to do a little digging. Uh, worst case scenario, maybe I can get 10 or 15 bucks for it. This is something that I don't see at the dump very often. They don't usually accept shoes, but they have these sketchers here. They're actually work sketchers, and I believe they're for nurses. They look like they're in decent shape. And I did look them up, and I think I might be able to sell these for about 25 plus shipping. I found this vintage picket slide ruler. It didn't come with the case, but I think I might be able to sell this for about 15. This is a Tucker store and save container. It's almost like a Rubbermaid, but it's not. I believe it's vintage. I did see one that sold for about $12 plus $6 shipping. So I went ahead and threw it in the bag. I found these two bags of Dentec like tooth flossers. These are actually what I use. So I went ahead and threw them in my pocket. One of the bags looks sealed. This one though is definitely not sealed and only has a few in there. So I'm hoping somebody didn't use them and then throw them back. I'll let you know though, because if I use this and it tastes a little bit funny, I'm gonna know what's up. <laughs> and then the last thing that sold was this vintage skirt it. This came from Bradley's back in the day. Somebody paid 10 bucks for it. And I think he just put the skirt around the sink. I looked it up and it looks like one of these sold for about 20 plus shipping. So I went ahead and threw it in the bag. Anyway, guys, this is really the end of the video. We'll talk to you guys next time. Have a great night. Yeah, who are you going to buy the world from? <laughs> it belongs to me. <laughs> I, don't, uh, I don't gotta own it. I don't gotta damn buy it from nobody, dude. If the world only has $40 trillion and my Bitcoin is worth $80 trillion, the world just automatically belongs to me. I'm the owner of the world. <laughs> is it about ego, Ari? Well, I've always dreamed about ruling the world, but now that I'm getting older, I would settle for ruling Hollywood.